Good afternoon, boys and girls of all ages. Welcome back to my car channel. Yours truly, Eddie G, back on duty. For this video, let's talk about the all-new 2020 Honda Civic RS hatch. So the question is, why well, have a hot hatch when a warm one will do, correct? From the outside anyways. That's the latest article from caradvice.com. So who says that hot hatches need to have all the fun? Well, the 2020 Honda Civic RS hatch turns the temperature down from the full tilt Civic Type R and offers something that makes as much sense as it does an impact in a practical and sporty package. And controversial opinion alert, I think it looks even better than its range topping sibling to be honest. The price range uh, varies from $33,500 before option and an on-road cost of $700 premium over the sedan. The RS hatch is available in your choice of seven colors that attract no additional cost. Well, the striking Phoenix orange on our car is exclusive to the RS and when combined with the blackout trim and a unique gunmetal gray 18-inch alloy wheels, well, it looks really great and it plays the part. The gloss black lower skirts and rear spoiler gave the RS an aggressive look and I'm a big fan of the little spats in front of the rear wheels, the rear diffuser and the central twin exhaust don't hurt either. Inside the Civic continues the offer plenty of style and tech with heated leather appointed seats and these are treated to red contrast stitching. A theme that continues around the cabin and results in a very sporty vibe. You also score drilled alloy pedals, a dual zone climate control and a parking sensors at the front and rear. Other materials feel a bit bland in places with plenty of hard scratchy plastic trim elements. It does feel well built however and we've noted very little feedback from owners complaining about the quality of the Civic. The rear passengers received a folding center armrest as part of the 60-40 split seats. There are three child seat anchor points and a two ISO fixed mounting points for child seats. Lag room here is good and makes the most of the hatch 2700 millimeter wheelbase. The sloping roof line of the hatch can limit headroom for taller occupants though. The lift back itself can be a bit heavy but there is a 340 liter boot with a space saver tire under the floor. Every sporty hatch needs good tune so there is a 452 watt premium sound system with a 12 speakers and a subwoofer and a 7 inch touchscreen supports a DAB radio, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and offers a rear view top down and Honda's cool cyclist check left lane watch camera as well. The Honda Sensing driver assistance package is also standard and includes the adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning, autonomous emergency braking, a lane departure warning and a lane keeping assistant. There's also what we call a road departure mitigation system that detects if the car has left the road without indicating and will gently apply the brakes and steer it back into the lane. This is the most crucial for Australian drivers where single vehicle accidents accounts for the highest number of traffic accidents. The RS also has an automatic high beam system for the LED headlamps which even works well in the dimly lit areas around town. Well, underneath the hood is a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine with 170 horsepower and 160 pound feet of torque. In a true Honda, Honda fashion, uh, power peaks high in the rev range around 5,500 RPM, but the full band of torque is available once the turbo spools up from 1,700 to 5,500 RPM. The RS is a front wheel drive and uses a CVT transmission which has paddle shifters to allow you to jump through simulated ratio steps on the CVT. There is a sport mode that drags time out between the changes but it doesn't really add any sportiness to the experience. 
Use the paddles if you want a bit more engagement, uh, but they found it tends to be a little bit jerky in settling into ratios if left in automatic. And naturally sounds quite abrasive, especially under heavy acceleration. Now once you get past this, the Civic 1.5 Turbo gets along really well, managing a mix of urban running and highway touring speeds and ease. The Civic is tuned to take the 91 RON fuel and will be fine as specified. Though we always recommend filling up with the 95 octane and when you can, uh, on 91 RON, Honda claims a combined cycle of 6.4 liter per 100 kilometers and that was pretty close. On the move, the RS feels sporty, the steering in particular has a nice weight to it. While still being communicative, the big wheels will thump over the potholes but tend to handle most day-to-day -day driving well enough. However, it is pretty noisy at a highway speed and uh, they said they had to raise the voice considerably to speak with a passenger in the rear. The noise is a combination of wind and tire roar, so possibly due to an op a more open cabin of the hatch it seemed much louder than the Civic sedan that they drove recently. It is not noticeable around town, but we would recommend a bit of a highway drive if you are test driving a Civic before purchase. The 2020 Honda Civic RS hatch has a 5-star ANCAP rating tested in 2017. It is offered with a 5-year unlimited kilometer warranty. Service intervals are every 12 months or 10,000 kilometers and will cost you a minimum of $297 for each of the first seven visits to the dealer and with additional costs for things like brake fluid at $58, cabin filter at $45, engine air cleaner for $55 and transmission fluid for $172 each with its own schedule. Range-wise, the RS might just be the best way to buy a Civic and although I personally prefer the sedan over the hatch, the sporty yet not specification has the looks and the kit to pull off some solid urban style. And that's the latest news from yours truly, Eddie G. And thank you for tuning in.